we made it to Peely. Feel like we're at Highland. We got Owen on that side of us as usual. Surly on that side of us. It's about 515. 14 cars signed in so far. Looking to have a good field of cars here this week without Highland running. A uh, couple cars that are here this week that weren't at either place, so that's good. Uh, putting the shocks on it and getting it ready to go. We didn't have no... No, I went to go put this cover on. I'm like, hey. We ain't got no nuts. We do now. I mean, that sun coming off the back of that trailer is uh, wicked and hot. start fourth in heat race number one coming up here shortly uh, that is the lineup Darren was pretty happy with the car and hot laps uh, really didn't get a good clean lap but as of right now he's not making any changes to it heat races will be up shortly
Well, she was fast in the heat race, as you saw. Um, a lot of carnage in the second heat race. I'm gonna look here in a little bit and see where we start. Busted a strap on the left front. Jumped the left rear tire in the heat race. Did he say we could run the wheel? No, he said dismount it. There's our tire, we've already took it off. Changes going on to the left rear. I just changed the gear. Doug put the choke in the carburetor. Trying to see if we can keep a left rear tire from blistering on this thing. She's fast though. You got a game plan to keep the left rear tire on it tonight? Well, yeah, him not to drive the shit out of it. Feature race will be coming up here shortly. We will be starting front row outside of the 25 lap feature. There is the line up. Be coming up here shortly. A little chilly tonight. It's 53. We don't have the heat on yet, but we'll be warming up here shortly.
What's your name? What's your name? I don't know. Jared, we had a fast hot rod again tonight, buddy. You and Jordan Bauer got a pair of cans at the front again. Put down a show for these fans, buddy. Yeah, this thing's, uh, we're just keep building on it. We tried uh, something a little bit different than we did last week on the left rear, and I don't know if it was any better or not. Um, I feel like it helped us in one and two, but at three and four, I kind of really, I didn't find a comfortable line around there. So we'll keep digging, uh, keep working on it. Thanks to my guys. They're amazing, man. Uh, this is this is for them. So hopefully we can continue the roll and they can have a lot of fun this year. Well, you paid attention to your stick man tonight. You weren't just going around, whoa, whoa, whoa. You know, you went by at about two, 3,000 RPM less tonight and we're still driving off. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we didn't need to do what we did last week, but we still, uh, it's nice to do that every once in a while, but uh, we need to work on a little bit more of that three and four corner where it's really slick. Look good, buddy. Thanks, man. Before I did not have a good line. I never did. The best I was when I, when I would get next to a lap car and I could kind of like hit the banking and then roll down the banking, but it's like I couldn't manip I couldn't do that in open air, which was really weird, or I wasn't doing, I don't know what the fuck was going on. Like I just did not. Dude, I you were on the other end. That end? Yeah, I thought you were almost just kind of maintaining down here. Really? Lights out down there. Really? On the other end. Honestly. Yeah, to be honest with you, if, if he was gaining on anywhere, it was down here. Okay. Like he just looked like. Was he all the way against that hub? Yeah. 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 You were you were two car lengths away from ever even getting close to where he was. He was riding right. yeah. all, all the wall. Yeah. Hey Darren, you ever thought about like slowing down a few steps? I tried on that restart to run the hub, and it walked me out into the middle of the racetrack, and I'm like, this is not the answer. He's going to be better on the hub than I am, and he's going to go driving by me. I knew when the Tischhauser picked out and he picked in, I'm like, George's getting this guy because there's too much down here. And the top down here, like, that's the hairiest shit I've ever done. Like, I would literally let off at the... Like the flag stand, like back to half throttle, and then when I get past the flag stand or the pit gate opening, I would yeah. mat it. Just back to corner. Oh, yeah, yeah and then I would use that to wheel spin into the cushion and then turn it off. And <laughs> nice. Like, that was fucked up. Like, where you were he was, off, there's no way no one else was doing that. Right. No. When you did that, was that lap 10 yeah. so you started doing that? Yeah. You got this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought it was phenomenal. So yeah. Number two of the year. Okay. Okay. Love you. See you a little bit. What was your Yeah. You look good though. Uh, like you were running around. Was like, you know, yeah, that fucking yellow come out. Yeah. Like, well, I pulled away at that point. But you were running them down, and then when I left, the caution came like, And then I ripped this quarter panel off on a caution. What's happening? I bet not. Put that on YouTube, Jason. Is that one of them edit out? Oh, no, don't edit that out. That was too much. Jesus. Hey. I like Rick. Don't. The destroyer? I didn't get destroyer. Hey, you gave her that little pancake job like you were talking about. Oh, it didn't hurt me. I think we could have actually, you could have put the, the rod on. It wouldn't have hurt. No, I, I, I get so yeah. 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 I could have used more gear in three and four. One and two, I didn't need no gear. I needed to not, well, just gear wouldn't affect me because I wasn't lifting, but um, I did not need to slow down and going into one. But you needed more gear in three and four? Yeah, because what I would happen is I'd try to roll out of it and I would freewheel into the corner and I'd try to, I wanted to tighten up quicker and then shoot down the hill, but every now and then I'd roll too deep into the corner and then I'd get into a push and then I couldn't, I couldn't come down the hill at that point. It, I don't know. Three and four, I like, I felt like I held my speed really well, but I don't ever feel like I ran a good line that really I found where the car was the best. Do you think if you backed up your entry a little bit more or that made it worse? I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't think so with as black as it was. I would have just lost corner speed. So probably go in a little deeper and let it roll. That's what we do with the pavement because that's what it was looking like out there. Yeah. Yeah. It, it wasn't was worse. It wasn't worse slowing down in three and four to run the wall. No. I knew that. No, no, no. One no. and two. It was no, your line was fine. That's yeah. The way you're running. Uh, I just think it'd make it smoother when you get the push out of it. But if you need more gear, to be honest with you, what what really fit, like when we were really good back a couple years ago in that condition, we had no shock and throw. Like that's when I could really have that uh, where I would just drive down the hill and uh, the shock in the front, your launch that you're getting. No, so well. it's taking launch away. It is. Well, yeah, anytime you pull your shock on the front of the birdcage, it takes it away. 
Like I almost think, and we, we haven't ran it yet, but I almost think the shock on the axle tube would have been a better way to go for three and four, one and two, not so much. I would have got tight, and then I wouldn't have been able to cut the corner off like I was doing. It's just something to work. It is one goes. We're built. Yeah, we're built. Yeah. Well, that, that's good, you got a bigger window. I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I was not happy with the car at all, and we're still. But you could compensate for just a couple of times, like a real high in three. Four. The one time in three, I thought I could run the cushion and I hit dust and it just started. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, we've seen it. Fence. Oh, it did back but in the But you throttled yeah. right out of it. I didn't throttle right out of it. It caught itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it went, well, yeah. oh. I heard, and then it shot down the hill. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt if the bumper hit the wall. That's how backed up it was. What's up? What are you doing in there, Grant? You don't know? I just got to get. Can you do that? Grant's just hanging out the tire. <laughs> Good job, Grant. Bought three. Um, and I got. Well, the worst night teardown is on on Saturday night. I go, this is this is gonna be rough. I go, I'm gonna need at least two or three. Every one of these needs re-cut. And he's like, oh. Well, all in all, a good night. Doubled up the Peebly, backed to back. Can't complain about that. Well, I appreciate it, man. You know, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Can't complain about that. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying the videos, hit that thumbs up for us, please. If you're not a subscriber, you can do so by hitting a picture of Darren's race car in the lower right-hand corner. Calling for four straight days of rain this week. Uh, the plan is right now Highland on Saturday, but if we get all that rain, we'll probably be at the house. Catch you all later.